I'm calling the police. Someone wants to talk to you. Get out of now. He's very powerful. Don't come in closer. Next Tuesday. How did you get in here? Are you going on this? I'm coming here to save you. It's a bumpy road to power. Keep your enemies close, including your vice president. So buckle up. Killing her? You should think about it. Because the Oval is about to take. I'm having you commit. No, you're not. An unexpected turn. You have my permission. Mom, touch it. Grab him and hit him. Tyler Perry's the All right, Oval fans, we are here with the trailer breakdown for season three, episode seven. Entitled Whole Patrol. Um, I don't have a synopsis on it, but I think the trailer speaks for itself. Now, it looks like we pick up where we left off with Kyle being held at gunpoint by Sharon. Um, we got Kyle saying, oh, well, Sharon saying, I'm calling the police, and Kyle saying, Someone wants to talk to you. Sharon goes on to say, Get out now, and Kyle retorts, He's very powerful. Then she goes on to say, Don't come any closer. And we actually see Kyle moving in closer on Sharon. Now, in the end credit promo, and as always, this covers both the preview we just saw, as well as the end credit trailer from this week's episode. Kyle says, Sharon, you don't know how to use that gun. Oh, I do. And, um, you know, she's like, you better get out of here. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Kyle is unsuccessful with bringing Sharon to the White House. I could be wrong, but... That's the vibes I'm getting here right now. Uh, we got Nancy catching Barry doing something, either in the bathroom or his bedroom. I don't know what, but I just know he doesn't have a shirt on. And whatever he's doing, Nancy's like, look, um, you, you need to move. And then, I don't want to go. I don't want to move, Ma. So, look, I don't know if it's drugs or if he was pleasuring himself, but Nancy just thinks her son needs to go. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out soon enough. Now, speaking of people who may need to leave, Kareem is at the apartment with Dale. You know, he's laid out on the couch and he's asking him questions in a light interrogation way. You know, look, Dale, are you in some sort of trouble that I should know about? No, I don't know what these people are after me for. And like I said in my episode review, if I were in Kareem's shoes, I'd feel some kind of way about, you know, helping Dale. Like, I wouldn't be against helping, but... Based on what we've seen, trouble isn't far from wherever Dale goes, and to have somebody you really don't know, I mean, hell, Kareem barely trusted um, Dale to hold down the store by himself due to the fact that, you know, obviously he wanted to have time with Sharon, but at the same time, it's like, well, we do need an extra help, and then actually just bring him to the apartment, and having, like, these high-level people who are White House authorities coming after him, I wouldn't want that heat on my apartment either. So, I mean, I, I get it. But it, it seems like, you know, Kareem is going to not be easy on Dale considering Sharon isn't around. So, just keep that in mind. Now, um, we see a scene where Donald is talking to Hunter saying that you should keep your enemies close, including your vice president. Now, the vice president and first lady, I believe, are not supposed to appear until episode 10. But... To finally hear someone use the phrase vice president, my gosh, in all the years that Charles was one of the haves and the have-nots, we never heard of his running mate, but in the third season of The Oval, a show about a president and his first family, we finally get mention of the vice president. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> all right, so we know Alonzo is looking after Jason, and you know we'll get to that soon enough, but... Alan, looking over his shoulder at night, is walking to his car from the White House. So, you know, you got to wonder, is uh, is Jason magically going to be out there? Or do you think that guy, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Is it Grip or so whatever? The guy that went over to threaten him with the bat. I wonder if he's going to be hiding in his car. Because remember, um, Alonzo kept saying, I mean, uh, Alan kept saying, hey, if, there's, if you send somebody else to my place, I'm going to kill him. But that doesn't mean somebody won't be hiding in the car. <laughs> All right. Now, Priscilla's in the kitchen with Richard, and Priscilla says, and this is the way the trailer was cut, so we don't know the context of what's going on. She says, killing her in the form of a question, and Richard's like, you should, th you should think about it. I don't think he's saying kill Victoria. Now, there's a old scene from a previous episode. You know the one where Priscilla checks into the White House, and then she follows 
I think it was uh, last week's episode where Victoria walks by and then Priscilla walks after her and then Sam's right behind her. This is an old scene to make it seem like, you know, Richard is suggesting that Priscilla think about killing the white, um, the first lady. Unless he's saying, you should think about it, as in, if you kill the first lady, think about the repercussions. And then, of course, we got another old scene where Victoria tells Jason he's being committed. No, I'm not going anywhere. So, we know that in this week's episode, Alonzo uh, was watching Jason and Jason was seemingly looking at porn. Now... We see Alonzo slap the piss out of Jason and he falls over on his bed. And you can tell his like his uh, belt is undone. It looks like his zipper is open like he was going to, you know, jerk off on Alonzo. But Alonzo like bullshit. Bop! And then I'm guessing after this scene, Jason in a huff rushes into Victoria's bedroom. Victoria's just sitting there and Alonzo's right behind him. And then we see Victoria saying, you have my permission to grab him and hit him and as he does it you know jason's like oh no no and this just goes to show what kind of a bitch he is because he always goes after people he thinks he's stronger than because based on jason's mindset he's a person who's tormented from being or you know seemingly feeling weak compared to those around him considering how he was raised where you know his mother like raised him if you want to use that word with an iron fist so always being talked down to and whatnot, you always feel weak, yet preying on those who are, you think, weaker than you make you feel strong. But when they fight back, such as when um, Ellie got the better of him in their scuffle, when Lily confronted him in season one, Jason's not used to that, you know? I'm not trying to be sympathetic, I'm just trying to make it so you can somewhat understand the character. He's not used to that. So to see him in that position, I don't feel bad for his ass. Like, yo, you, you killed three people. Die, pervert. So to actually see him with this fear, it's like, oh, damn. Like, if Alonzo does this to him, then I hope Jason isn't going to just pop up on Alan to get revenge on him because he was going to get back at Alan and then also mad about the whole situation with uh, Alonzo. But Alan is in season three, so nothing's going to happen to him in terms of him dying. Now, they're speaking of Alan... You know, Lily's at the White House. You know, she had dropped Bobby off. And she's in Donald's office. You know, they're just sitting across from each other, probably talking, having lunch. I don't know. Alan checks in to make sure everything's okay. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that you and your guest got in okay. Donald's like, guest? Uh-oh. So we see Lily in the hallway on her phone. And she's like looking over her shoulder like, uh oh, man. So Bobby is walking through the hallway. And he sees Alan and Donald inches away from him so he just slips into another room which is like a uh you know a side kitchen and you see richard looking up and he goes bobby it's like oh how the hell does richard know bobby but bobby actually makes his way to max's holding cell and this dude's losing it wait how'd you get in here are you in on this and bobby's like look i came here to save you so the question is how will bobby and max get out now remember that one video i, I did where about um Bobby and Max both in Secret Service attire, and I thought that was a nod to season four. Uh, I guess this could be season three where Max somehow gets a Secret Service outfit from one guy, and they both make it out of the White House unscathed, and that's it. So that's 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 all I got for Hope Patrol. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What's your most anticipated moment that you want to see next week? I feel like it's a toss between Alonzo beating the piss out of Jason. Or the scene with Bobby and Richard. So let's talk about it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to select all. And if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.